If you've ever been on a tight deadline for a client, then you'll know how stressful it is to turn around and edit really quickly. Thankfully, Motion VFX has over 100 templates to choose from to help you edit faster than ever before. I created this in just a few minutes. So let me show you how I did it. The first thing I'll do is open up my extensions window and open up M extension. And under the M collections tab, I can scroll down to these template collections that I have here. There are loads of different types, so you can kind of scroll through these and see what you'd like to use. And you can always click on show more to see even more examples. Now, let's go ahead and choose something like this artistic awards. And if you want, you can preview what it'll look like up top. So that's quite nice, but I'm going to go ahead and just download that for now. And you'll see what's happening is we're downloading the generator, which is the main template, as well as these modules and a few other elements, which we'll get back to in a second. So I can drag and drop that onto my timeline and I'll extend the duration to around 20 seconds. I'm just going to move M extension over for now so we can see the viewer better. And I'll hit Shift Z to zoom my timeline to fit. With this selected, I can head over to the generators tab in the inspector window and I'll double click on the top of the inspector here just to expand all these parameters. It makes it a little bit easier to make all of these changes. So as you can see, we have all the different text placeholders and we can change things like like fonts and colors and all that sort of stuff. And right here we have the drop zones and we're going to place our footage in these drop zones so that they appear here in the template. I'll minimize the M extension window for now and I've got all the clips I want to use and I'll just drop that into my project. So let's go from the beginning and start editing this. We've got June 2022, Las Vegas, Nevada. So let's go change this to 2025 and we'll change this to Hollywood, California. I'll scrub a little bit further forward and we have the most prominent awards in the industry. Let's say we wanted to change that to the most prestigious awards in the world. Again, we can change fonts and colors, but I like this gold kind of look, so I'll leave it as is. And then we have five drop zones here. So the first thing I'll do is change the text here. Let's change it to a selection of the best in film. And I'll start selecting some footage here. So we've got these two shots of this conductor and I think we can use this first one. Now what I like to do is to scrub to see where I want it to start. We have this awkward camera movement. I want the clip to start there. I'll hit I to set my endpoint. And with my generator selected, I can scroll down to that drop zone and just drag that clip into my drop zone. Now in this case, I will adjust the pan so we can see his face a little bit more. And so I don't get confused later and reuse the same shot. I'm going to right click on this clip and select hide clip. If it doesn't disappear right away, you'll want to make sure that you have show hidden clips unchecked. If I check it, that clip will come back. So I'll hide it and I'll move on to the next shot. Here we have a director with a cameraman. So let's go with this director shot over here. I'm quite happy with where it starts. So with the generator selected, you can also go ahead and click on this down arrow here and then select the clip from the browser and then hit apply clip. Again, in this case, I will adjust the pan value here so that the director is in the frame and I'll hide that clip. We have these two shots next for drop zone three. I think I will use the second shot out of the two. So I'll go ahead and select that and hit apply clip. The placement of that looks pretty good. I'll hide it. Move on to the next one. We have these two shots of a cinematographer. Let's use this one and drop this into drop zone number four. I'll adjust the pan slightly and I'll hide this clip again. Last clip for this section, I've got this wide shot and a close up. I think the wide shot will fit better in that frame. So I'll select the generator and drag and drop that into the clip well. And again, I'll adjust the pan. And lastly, I'll hide that clip. The text, a selection of, gets kind of lost over here. So I might want to just make that semi bold and I can also adjust the colors, maybe make it a little brighter to make it stand out a bit more. And then I'll move forward and we have drop zone six and I'll update the best actor to best original score. And I can offset the text a little bit because it's too close to the edge. And I'll drop this orchestra shot into my clip well for number six. 
And again, we can update the text. Let's go with the most moving original song in a motion picture. That's cool. I might also just adjust this offset a little more and have the text line up here on the right. Let's move forward and see what's next. We have the best director, the most creative vision in a cinematic production. I'm quite happy with that. I've got my director clip here. I'll drop that into the well. And because this text kind of gets lost over this light section, I'll go ahead and just adjust the text here just to move it across to the right. I could hide these clips like I was doing before. I've got only a few to work with, so I don't really need to, but I'll do it for consistency's sake. And let's move forward. We have best special effects. That's perfect. I'll grab this shot and drop it into my clip well. And I'll just adjust the offset on the Y axis here, put the best special effects up top, and I'll move this up as well. The most remarkably realistic effects in a movie. Not really realistic, so let's just change this to stunning. And the others I've been right aligning or left aligning, so I might just do the same here in this case. And next up we have the best screenplay. I'll change this one up and we'll put best cinematographer. Let's change that to the most captivating visual storytelling in a film. And that'll be drop zone nine. I'll just grab that clip and drop it into the well. And for consistency's sake, let's right align that text. And then our last drop zone will be for the best film. And for this one, we'll describe it as the most outstanding film of the year. And I'll grab this last clip here and I can go ahead and hide those clips if need be. And I'll definitely adjust the offset here and I'll move all of these to be left aligned. And let's see what we have left. We have some more text, get access right now. Maybe this is some kind of awards where people can vote. So we can say cast your votes right now. Yeah, don't miss it's cool. And I don't have a better name for the awards. So the last thing I need to do is just add a music track and I'm good to go. I'll cut it down and retime it to fit the generator. And it looks like this. I'll head back to M extension here and you'll see we have these modules. And these are really cool because you can essentially just grab individual elements from this template and use them as you see fit. And you can adjust the timing and length of each of these to really customize this. Let's say you're timing it to a voiceover and you want to have a bit more control. This is perfect for that use case. What's also really cool is you can head over to your transitions and I really like this M transition noise pack, which is also part of M design studio. And you can apply transitions between these clips to transition from one module to the other. Included in this particular template are also some typography templates as well as this awards transition. So I'll replace that over here. And this is what that looks like. I think that these templates are perfect for freelance editors or anyone who wants to be able to create really cool looking videos in less time. I think it's particularly useful for editors who have paying clients because it's easier to justify the cost of a subscription. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of subscriptions, but I have loads of them because they provide tons of value to me as an editor and a YouTuber. I have multiple music subscriptions, I have story blocks, I have Envato Elements, I have a bunch of different subscriptions to run a website, to host my free plugins, and for my paid plugins and courses. I know the subscription model isn't for everyone, and that's totally fine. If subscriptions aren't your thing, then this is not for you. But it's worth noting that one template on Motion VFX's website used to sell at $69 once off versus now being able to access over 100 templates from $17 per month with the Design Studio Essential Plan, which also gives you a lot more than just the templates, by the way. You can also get a free 14-day trial using the link down below to try them out for yourself before making any kind of commitment. Motion VFX is also currently running a sale until June 24th, and you can get 30% off by using the code HOT30 at checkout. The sale includes the subscriptions as well as the individual once-off purchase packs. I'll leave a link to that down below. If you want to know how to create your own custom editing templates from an existing editor of yours to help you speed up your workflow, then you've got to watch this video next.